back to my channel for another video. I just finished my workout, my leg day, as you guys just saw, but I'm about to go get my laser hair removal done, and I also really, really, really need to go to the grocery store, so I might do that, but I just want to show you guys what I do. I'm about to fix my hair. What I do on the days that I'm not washing my hair, but I want to make it look a little bit better. So I got my curling iron heating up, and I'm going to put some of this hair oil. This is from Way, and this video is actually sponsored by Way. so thank you guys for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much. This is one of my favorite hair care brands. I just think everything that they make is high quality. All these products were created by a celebrity hairstylist. Her name is Jen Atkin. She just she just knows what she's doing. One of my favorite products is the hair oil because for one, it smells amazing. It smells floral and rich and luxurious and it just makes my hair smell so good, especially after I've been sweating in the gym. It also just adds a high shine, makes your hair look super glossy and healthy and it smooths all the frizz and split ends. I use this seriously every day and I've had this for a while and it's still like more than half full so you really get your money's worth for this one i did also just get the leave-in conditioner to try i'm gonna use this next time i wash my hair put it on when it's wet before i style it i also just did get the detox shampoo as well so this is really great to get off product buildup in your scalp it's just a really good thing to use once in a while just to get rid of like any dry shampoo leftover oils anything like that another one of my favorites is the hair mask this one is for thick hair as you can see it's almost gone it smells so good all of their products just smell so good like so clean and fresh i do have naturally frizzy hair it's not just from damage i've just always had frizzy hair if you guys want to get on your way get it to healthier looking hair you can just go to t-h-e-o-u-a-i.com slash claudia to get 15 percent off your first purchase so i just use like one or two pumps in my hair and another thing that's great is that it's heat protecting so you can use it before styling which is one thing that i really like because i feel like that's what makes it look so smooth after you styled it. It just adds so much shine and it doesn't make your hair feel like greasy or weighed down. It's one of my favorites. It just, it's the best. I don't know if my curling iron will reach this far. I'm going to do this while my curling iron is plugged in like across the room. But I literally just go in different directions and wrap it around the curling wand just like that and then kind of pull it straight. And I just do this to like a bunch of random pieces. So for some, you go in this direction and you don't even have to be like perfect about it. It's kind of like a messy curl. And then some, you go in the opposite direction. It's super easy. It takes me like five minutes. I'm a little better. I'm to the other side because I can't reach while I'm on the camera. Hold on. All right, I just finished my hair, added some curls, and then I pin it up. I just use these little pearl clips that I got from Urban and clip it up and it looks so cute and put together and it looks like I, it looks like I spent time doing my hair this morning, but really just put some hair oil and spent five minutes curling it. I also like to take like a little dab of the hair oil and then I just grab these little tiny hairs that are sticking up. Hair oil is like magic. <laughs> a lot more put together. I don't know if I have time. I have like 15 minutes to put some makeup on. I think I might just put like a little bit of concealer because my period's coming and I'm breaking out a little bit. So if you guys want to try out some whey products, you can go to theway.com slash Claudia. That's T-H-E-O-U-A-I.com slash Claudia and you'll get 15% off your entire first order. Definitely check out the hair oil. I promise you it is the best. Guys, this is your sign to get your cat a heated blanket because I actually got this for me, but I plug it in for Posey when she's laying on it. I put it on like a low setting and she loves it so much. She sleeps like a baby. You guys should see my tripod right now. It's literally sitting in my makeup drawer, but I'm just gonna put on the tiniest bit of concealer just to cover up some little spots. I use Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light and then this Kylie Cosmetics concealer brush and I literally just like very lightly blend it all out and i swear it gives like the most natural look like you wouldn't even know that i have concealer on i swear it's like magic how perfectly it covers like, look at the difference now my skin is stunning i'm gonna add the tiniest bit of this milk makeup cream blush i'm just gonna use a brush just to give my face a little bit more color because it looks kind of washed out and this blush is like a super natural one it's in the shade it's actually a lip and cheek tint but it's in the shade work i just gotta put it on my forehead too i honestly started using blush as like my bronzer because i feel like my face is too pale to always need bronzer put some on my lips because it says it's a lip and cheek tint and two more things actually three do some eyebrow gel this one is from kosis i just do clear eyebrow gel just because my eyebrows are crazy so i have to keep them in place gotta curl my eyelashes i always do this when i'm doing like a no makeup makeup look because it'll really like perk them up and make your eyes look 
bigger and more awake in my opinion. All right, then it's usually between a Summer Fridays balm and then the Dior lip oil. I think I'm gonna go with Summer Fridays today. Love the sweet mint one. It smells and tastes so good, but I also love pink sugar when I want like a slight, slight pink tint to my lips. So I think I'm gonna do pink sugar today. Nothing annoys me more than when I can feel a hair on my face after I either did skincare, oh, there it is, or makeup. And it's like tickling my fucking face. Drives me nuts. That'll do, and now we're ready to go. I need to get lunch so bad. I'm so, so hungry. So I'm eating Cheez-Its. Let's go get our armpits burned. Laser hair removal is, why does it look so dark? Laser is so brutal, let me tell you. It is worth it, but it does hurt very bad in the moment. Like as soon as she stops, I'm fine. But in the moment she's doing it, I'm literally like holding my breath and like digging my nails into my, <laughs> my hand. I get it done on my underarms. I really wanna get done the Brazilian as well, but I'm a little bit nervous. I do it at the highest level because I'm fair skinned. So it needs to like singe my hairs off and I don't have super, super dark underarm hair. So yeah, it's brutal. It burns. It feels like my armpits are on fire, but as soon as she stops, it's fine. I go to Life Med in Timonium and I go to Lisa. She's the sweetest ever. This was my seventh session. I'm going to do like a full 10 probably, but I just get like a package when I do it. They're great. I love going there. And I also did get another Zo product. Now I need to go to the grocery store, but I honestly don't really feel like going. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go home and order some Instacart groceries because I just really hate the grocery store. I hate going there alone. All right. I decided I'm going to go into the grocery store, not be antisocial and waste money on delivery. I went to the grocery store, as you saw, got so much stuff. I went a little bit crazy. You know how they say like, don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry? Well, that was my first mistake. I got some sushi for lunch from the grocery store. Wegmans has like really good sushi, so I'm excited to go home and eat that. I'm so hungry. I feel like that took the life out of me though. I'm not even gonna lie. Going to the grocery store, it gives me anxiety. For some reason, the grocery store specifically, I feel like there's just so many people always. I'm glad that I did because now it's over with and I got like so much good stuff. Just know if you struggle to go to the grocery store because it gives you anxiety or any store at all by yourself, I feel you because like it literally had my heart. I feel like my heart rate was up while I was in there because I'm constantly looking around me to make sure that like no one's following me, no one's staring, no one's gonna approach me um, because it, it has happened. A win is a win and that was my win for today. Back home, let me show you guys everything that I got from the grocery store. Let me just say, I'm sure we all know this by now, but food, the price of food right now is so ridiculously high. I don't even want to say, I don't even want to tell you guys how much this was because it like makes me want to throw up. Starting off with veggies, we got celery sticks as a snack, peppers and onions. This is really good to cook in with like meat. Some baby carrots as a snack, iceberg lettuce. We like to eat this in like taco bowls. We got blackberries and raspberries. Some little mini hummus cups. I like doing this instead of the full container because then it doesn't get wasted. Some salsa, some tortillas. Then this, I'm so glad I found this. I saw someone post this on Instagram, I think, and I wanted to try it so bad. 
that. I love this brand of pickles and they came out with pickle relish. I feel like this with tortilla chips would be a phenom. And then I got some fresh mozzarella pearls so that I can eat it with these little cherry tomatoes and like a balsamic. Then some chicken sausages. These are like a really easy dinner or lunch when you don't really feel like doing anything crazy. Sushi, this is lunch. Any cucumbers as another snack. We got two pizzas. This pizza is for Jesse, vegan, no cheese. And then also I got this one for me for like a pizza night. This I could not resist. It looked so incredibly good. It's like coffee cake. Guacamole chips. I feel like these would be good with some salsa. Bagels for breakfast. Some bread. Also some challah. I love challah with butter. It's so good. Got tart cherry juice because me and Jesse sometimes have trouble falling asleep. So I figured we would try this. I've heard it makes you like fall asleep easier. I don't know. Chicken, some eggs. These Amy's burritos are like a really good easy lunch. I got one for Jesse with no cheese and then one for me. He doesn't eat dairy. Some um, deli meat and these little pretzels. I feel like these would be a good snack. I love anything that's like mini like this. So got those. That's everything I got. And are you ready? That was $230. I don't even understand. It's not even that much food. I feel like this will last us. I feel like this will last us three days and it was $230. That makes me sick. You guys do not understand how excited I am eat this sushi because I am so hungry. You know when you're like so hungry that you're like shaking? That's me right now. You guys like wasabi in your sushi because I like a lot of it in mine. And then you mix it on up with the soy sauce. I have a fork. I don't have chopsticks so don't judge me. Mm. I also get tuna nigiri. Mm. I'm telling you, if you have Wegmans in your area, Wegmans has better sushi than like some of the sushi restaurants around here. Like I don't even love sushi anymore lately. I've like been disappointed by it every time I order it. Not this. Jesse and I love these drinks. They're the sparkling ice drink because it's kind of like soda or like an energy drink, but there's no caffeine and there's no sugar. So I don't... <sighs> this is just like the perfect sushi. I can't wait to try that crumb cake after I eat this. You guys, what is wrong with me? I didn't tell you yet. I completely forgot that I have not shown you our new baby. Hi, Cherry. We got a new kitten. Hi. Hi, baby. Say hello to Cherry. Oh, I just love her. She gives me cute aggression. I completely forgot that I didn't tell you guys. I told my TikTok, and that's why I think it slipped my mind, that we adopted another kitten. We got her from the Humane Society. She is the sweetest, cutest little thing. Um, She's been staying in this room. This is our guest bedroom, but she did have a fever when I took her to the vet about a week ago, but she goes, she goes on Thursday to get checked again, but I was monitoring her temperature to make sure that her fever went down within like just a few days, and it did. Luckily, she doesn't have a fever anymore, so at times, I let her out but she is still like scared of the other two because especially Posey can be very territorial. Posey's getting better. She likes to follow her around but I think like sometimes they'll corner her in a way like not in a mean way but they were just watching her and I think it I think it gets her like a little stressed out so I give her her space when she's like tired and sleepy and I just shut the door so she can nap in here and she has like her dry food and her water fountain and her litter box you can see back there is in the bathroom but she's so cute and sweet she's sitting under the bed right now what are you doing Technically, she's called a dilute calico. I looked at pictures of Cherry, and then I also looked at pictures of this one other cat, but the other cat, when I held it, it was, like, shaking and so scared, and I just felt so bad holding it and, like, taking it out of its safe place because it had, like, four siblings with it. I didn't want to take home a cat that might be, like, terrified of the other two. So, we saw her, and she was, like, 
crawling up on the cage i'll put a clip right here she was like climbing up on the cage and she kept like looking at jesse's hat and like she was interacting with us so much more than the other cats and we were just like she's the one she's so cute we were obsessed with her and we knew like basically right away she's so freaking cute she's only like five pounds and i named her cherry because i've always just thought that was such a cute name for a cat and i kept telling jesse like if we get another cat and it's a girl i want her name to be cherry and i felt like it was so fitting for her like she's such a cherry because she's like sweet and cute and she has like a little pink cherry nose we love her and we're so happy i'm so glad that we decided to get just one more because we have the space and it just made me feel like so good to give another cat a home because cats are angels on earth i swear and they all deserve to have good loving happy homes if you were thinking of adopting a cat and you have the means to do so go to the humane society anyway that was gonna be it for this vlog it was just like a little day in my life a little follow me around but anyway i love you guys so much Bye.